Welcome back to A20 special relativity. In this section, we want to talk about the relativistic Doppler effect. And we make good use of our space time diagrams, which we discussed earlier. So the situation is as follows. To simplify this, we have a, a source which is emitting pulses. So the waves are pulses. Every now and then there is a, a bleep, and another bleep, and another bleep. And those, those two pulses, they travel with their velocity, with their wave velocity. Um, and they have a word line represented here in the space-time diagram. This is pulse number one, and this is pulse number two. The distance between those two pulses is our period, the period of our wave, which we call tau. The question now is, how is this being observed by our observer, which is moving with a relative velocity v with respect to the source? So let's analyze this. So if you want to characterize or find our position x1 and x2, we can do this by saying um, x1 is equal to c tau one, uh, t1 or equal to x0, which is the distance of the observer to the source, plus v times t1. v is the velocity in which the source is moving. And similarly for t x2, we find c times t2 minus tau, and that's also equal x0 plus v times t1, t2. So the distance in time still in the reference frame S of the source, is given by C times tau over C mi minus V. And the distance in space is given by V times C times tau over C minus V. So the question is not how this is observed, how this is seen by the source, but how this is being seen by the observer. So we have to do apply Lorentz transformation. So in the S prime frame, which is the observer frame, we find Delta T prime is equal to gamma delta T minus V over C square delta X. And then we just fill in the information as we discussed before. Um, <coughs> tau prime is then gamma times C tau over C minus V times one minus V square over C square. And then we make use of beta equal V over C and we um, make use of of gamma equal one over square root one minus beta square. And we find then, this is a little bit of an algebra exercise here, that the, the period now is given by one plus beta over one minus beta square root of that times tau. And the frequency is the inverse. So we have one minus beta over one plus beta square root of that uh, times the frequency. So we just calculated relativistically how the period and the frequency of a wave um, is, is uh, Lorentz transformed. 